it's Ant94 and today as you can see on your screens we are in a Ferrari SF90 Stradale that's what we're in so as you can see beautiful interior but that is what we're in and I think that's how we're going to start the videos from now on with that little cinematic that they, the crew 2 does well not the crew 2 the crew motor fest I always get them mixed up but we're going to leave it in the video because we all make mistakes but what we're going to do now is we're we're going to hear how this sounds and then we're going to get into customization. I love Ferrari engines. I don't know why that is, they just sound so nice. Yep, so we'll just leave it here. And we're going to do some customization. But what first we'll check what the speed of this thing does. So we we'll stick it all on. In I believe this is a mid-engine car, rear wheel drive. Because I believe that's what the MR stands for. Which means mid-engined rear wheel drive. I'm learning slowly. But after slapping on all of our upgrades, we have a power of 1414 brake horsepower. That's a lot of power. And we've got a top speed of 280. And if you want to know the weight, it's 3461 pounds. Nearly 3500 pounds, but not quite there. So, let's get into customization. Let's see what it has. So, the colors we have available for this Ferrari is the red. We've got dark red, the red that I just showed you. Black. Then we have like this dark, it's like a lighter black, so it's kind of like a really, really dark grey. Then we actually have grey, we have a light, light, like a silver, I'd say, yellow, light blue, which is so classy. We have dark blue, very cool. We have this like goldy colour, which I do, I do actually like, I've got that on some of my Ferraris. We have blue. We have this silver. A lighter blue, which does look very nice. And this, I don't like that blue, that looks a bit weird. But we're going to go for this blue here, because why not? Look at it. Quite pretty. So we're going to go for that. Hoods, three different options. We can go for the stock one, go for carbon, or we can go for just a carbon insert. Interesting. I don't want it. One out of five now for the splitters and stuff. So you can have the carbon on the inside and carbon on the sides. I do love that. You can have carbon fully inside. Not, f not for me. It, it does look nice, but no. Carbon on the edges and the sides. Okay. Ball on carbon. That's a bit much. A bit much. But I don't know, because it's still kind of cool. No, because I do like the way the splitter contrasts all the way around it. Hmm, very undecisive I am. No, because I, I do like that insert though. Why? I'm going to go with this one. Just because I just like the way that looks. Rims. Or do we have any cool ones? Obviously, we're going to have to go for these, come on. Unless you want to, if you're going for classy, then I'd say stick some chrome ones on like them. Or even, yeah, these aren't chrome. But yeah, that you mean they just these like classy ones. But we got them. Caliper color because it always changes. Let's let's sneak in a bit of yellow with it. We'll or should we just go for, go for Ferrari red? No, I don't know. We'll go. I wish we could have different ones. I don't know what I want to do. Right, let's go for just let's go for grey. We'll go about about there. Twenty five grand was that for your change? You're you jokers. Wow. I could have been seeing things, but I swear I saw twenty five grand. So you can do this in a little bit of carbon. Or is it black? I think it's carbon. I'm gonna do it anyway. Skirts can carbon them, lovely. And you can add a bit more, a bit more of the colour. Okay, uh, it doesn't work. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it carbon. There we go. Fenders. Surprised this car don't have a void body, but I do like that carbon insert. And I, it changes something on the roof, does it? No, the roof just looks like it changes, but it doesn't. Okay. Why do I keep clicking out? I will never know. Rear wing, can we have anything cool? Okay. I really don't care about that. Rear. So having the rear carbon would be nice, because I don't like that. Blacking out the exhaust is kind of clean as well. Don't like the blue on the diffuser. Not too much, to be honest. We'll go for this one. And interior, you can change it, but I'm gonna leave it stock, to be honest. Yep. So now I'm gonna get into some vanity options, and then we'll see how it sounds, and then I'll take you to a race. Right then, after the run of vanities, we've gone for basic stuff. We've gone for the Squad X tyres, because it's a classic. And we've gone for the Nitro, the blue one, of course. And we've gone for black window tint. Just to black it out, make it more stealthy. I think it looks pretty, it's a pretty beautiful car. I would have carbon bonnet, but I just feel like it, it takes away the class of a Ferrari, in my opinion. The carbon adds a little bit more touch and a bit more like, like a plus kind of feel. So, let's get into how it sounds. Now it's been upgraded. Yep, I love it. It sounds so good. Time for me now to find a race, and I'll see you at the race. Right then, the event we are doing is called Achieving Immortality. So, we're doing this in the Ferrari, of course. The one that we just got, for some reason that's not showing up, okay, whatever. But, we're doing it in the new Ferrari, which will be available for everybody on Wednesday. So, but everyone that's got the pass will get it, well it's a season pass, so everyone who gets that pass, they'll be able to get it. We've got it on difficulty of three, and now let's get into the event. But I was to, I was thinking to myself today, why don't the crew just make it look at events? Look, a car comes out, here's a new event type of thing, and put it in some sort of separate playlist, like the DLC of the DLC cars that come out, and you just put, it, put them all in that playlist. So you'd have a load of new events getting added into that all the time. Obviously you'd have to create new playlists every so often. So you could do like year one playlist, year two playlist, all that, all that stuff. Hopefully, hopefully we can keep up with these without, you know, I don't know if we'll win this race. Probably not, considering the way we're driving is absolutely atrocious. It feels pretty solid so far. But let's, let's see if we, can, if we can do what we can. Losing a little bit of traction on that corner. It's not what we need. We need to get up to our top speed so we can just actually catch them up. We've thought that corner terribly. Yeah, so we're probably gonna lose this race. Because I can't see myself catching these at the moment. But we're gonna try our best. We're gonna have to take, the, take as many cuts as we can. Can we take him on the line? I don't think we can because he has nitrous and we haven't saved down enough. Gonna have to use nitrous now. Can we take the Bugatti? Yes, we can. Heading to the finish line. What a comeback that is. A short little race, but you know, sometimes that's the way it is. Sometimes it's a short race, sometimes it's a longer race, but I mean, this car is absolutely beautiful. So I hope I hope on Wednesday everyone gets everyone's gonna get access to it. I hope you all have enough money to buy it and enjoy the car because it sounds nice, it feels nice, it's it's beautiful. Clearly with mine all smashed up, it don't look that beautiful, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.